A GoFundMe set up by the Midwest Innocence Project for Kevin Strickland to help pay for basic necessities after he was freed from a Missouri prison last week has now raised more than one and a half million dollars and counting so far. Still in disbelief. After spending the last 43 years in a Missouri prison for a crime he did not commit, Kevin Strickland is at last a free man. I was actually watching a soap opera and it <laughs> thing went across news break or whatever they call them and, and I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. A judge ruled Tuesday to drop all criminal charges against the 63-year-old who served his time at the Western Missouri Correctional Center. The massive amount of money raised came after donors around the globe learned of his story and that the state of Missouri won't even pay him for time served since it has no statute to compensate a person wrongfully convicted of a crime and later found innocent unless through DNA, which is not Strickland's case. It took two trials for Strickland to be convicted in an April 1978 triple murder. The first ended in a hung jury. In a second trial, the all-white jury convicted Strickland of one count of capital murder and two counts of second-degree murder in a triple homicide. He received a 50-year sentence without the possibility of parole for a crime he maintained he wasn't involved in. At the time, Strickland told authorities he was at home watching TV when the murders of the victims all in their 20s occurred. No physical evidence ever linked him to the crime. He was just 18 years old. Had your sister told you those things, that she had reported this to prosecutors, that she had tried to air this, correct this wrong with others? Yes. There was one surviving eyewitness, Cynthia Douglas, who died in 2015. Her family, including her sister, Cookie Douglas, has been testifying on her behalf. In 1978, Cynthia testified Strickland was at the scene of the triple murder and told police two other men were some of the perpetrators. Over the last 30 years, Cynthia said she made a mistake in identifying Strickland because she was feeling police pressure to ID him. She worked with the Midwest Innocence Project to try and free Strickland. Strickland even remained in prison while two of the four actual shooters, Vincent Bell and Kilm Adkins, admitted under oath Strickland had nothing to do with the murders. They each pled guilty to second degree murder and each spent a decade behind bars. I guess I don't want to beat around the bush here. I just want to ask you uh, straight, straight away, do you commit these murders? Had absolutely nothing to do with these murders. Over the summer, a new law was passed in Missouri allowing prosecutors to bring old cases back to court, and that entitled Strickland's plea for innocence to be heard again. No, I didn't think this day was going to come. I mean, not before I got this legal team, I didn't. Jackson County Prosecutor Gene Peters Baker led the team who worked to free Strickland alongside the Midwest Innocence Project. Thank you for reviewing all the no evidence that was against me to begin with. At more than four decades, the time Strickland served makes his the longest wrongful imprisonment in Missouri state history and one of the longest in the nation, according to the National Registry of Exonerations. Although he cannot get back what was wrongfully stolen from him, Strickland has plans for the path ahead and to make an impact with the time he has left. But if I can ever get involved with some type of, you know, uh, speaking concerning legislation or something, we like to get some things changed. I got some ideas of where, where they uh, could keep this from happening to someone else. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.